of a private jet that crashed at Hanscom Field did not perform a flight control check before attempting takeoff. That's just one of the findings in the initial report released today by the NTSB. News Center 5's Jack Harper is live in Bedford. Jack. JC, that airplane left here two weeks ago tomorrow night, and now investigators say the pilots were not prepared to fly. The thing that came out in the report was at uh, first they didn't do their uh, control, pre takeoff control check. The NTSB has not yet pinpointed the cause for the crash of the Gulfstream 4, but flight data shows the experienced crew did not do the pre flight checks they should have. They got up to takeoff speed, attempted to pull the nose up, and had identified a control problem then. So it, it, there obviously was some problem in the control system. They would have picked it up if they'd done the pre takeoff check, but they, uh, they didn't. Philadelphia businessman Lewis Katz and six others died in the fiery crash as the 14 year old jet attempted takeoff. The NTSB's preliminary report raises concerns about the mechanical gust lock system, which protects planes from wind damage when they're on the ground. I think we have to be careful. So they're not saying that the gust lock was on, <clears throat> they're saying. Uh, basically, that's still in the realm of possibility, but the physical evidence that they found is not consistent with that. So some of the evidence is consistent, some isn't, so it's still a mystery. Investigators are certain the plane was not checked out before moving down the runway. We will probably never know why. Could have been in a rush. You know, um, these guys had a lot of experience in this airplane. Sometimes very, very experienced crews just get complacent. They do it all the time and, <clears throat> and just forget. The final report from the NTSB likely months away. At Hanscom, I'm Jack Harper, WCBB News Center 5.